so hello there people long time no see so here is one more tutorial from me I made this as a request from a friend this tutorial is about how to edit textures in Xenoverse 2 Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 so let's start this is just uh, basic stuff I think you will understand when you try it okay so you will need few things you will need Xenoverse viewer you will need EMB pack this is the tool to yeah you'll see uh, of course you will need <laughs> Xenoverse 2 game apparently I'll use uh, Orach the original Super Saiyan I mean original Saiyan not Super Saiyan uh, that I ported from uh, uh, Xenoverse 1 to Xenoverse 2 a long time ago uh, as a base file. Let's open it up. Oh, oh, extract like this. Uh, and we will edit his uh, textures for some of these files. Uh, okay, let's start uh, Xeno Viewer. Uh, it can open like this. No, no problem. Uh, let's see his. Um, let's go with. No, let, let's go bust. Oh, so, uh, here is his bust model. We want to change this uh, color. Any, you can change any color from uh, model, even the skin, whatever. Uh, so, brown to. We'll see. Next, you will need EMB pack, as I said before. The file that you will need to edit is. Uh, uh, DYT file uh, EMB so um, yeah that's a file that holds um, DDS texture files for the model let's drag uh, EMB file to the EMB pack and we get the folder it extracted the files from it so, let's open it we see all of these textures all of these textures some files folders i mean files when you accept it as a folder will have probably just data 000 and data 001 some don't even have 001 some will have uh, 0, 0, 55, million. i don't know uh, so yeah basically these are the files that hold the texture but we just want to show you how to change the textures you will for this you will na need uh, to paint.net google it i'm too lazy to post the link in the des description so <laughs> um, who cares right uh, yeah let's open it you can right click open with paint.net or you can just if you already have no oh, you know what let's let's go like this yeah. open with paint.net and we got this now you can uh, uh, hold the control plus 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 on large uh, or you can scale it right here you know so plus uh, minus whatever it's the same thing but I, I like to use keyb uh, keyboard so I use uh, control and uh, plus yeah so let's uh, let's change this gray uh, I, oh my god gray brown color now select the color uh, go to adjustment uh, I have way too many options here because I have extensions for um, paint.net but you probably not have so many what you need is a <laughs> saturation uh, um, adjustment tool so yeah oh yeah is to select the part of the textures you will have this now I don't know if, the, if you don't get this uh, uh, open like this you can just click here and yeah like this but some people don't get this open right away I don't know if you can open it some other way I'm not the, I don't care so yeah uh, you use um, a rectangle select and uh, we select with mouse and we'll leave it like that now adjustment saturation tool when you open it you'll get this we can increase the dark 
why just leave it if you want to receive the cover when you like this and you don't want to save it or cancel quick so uh, we click this and uh, it returns to the file now let's change um, mm, no, green blue yeah oh, no let's see let's, uh, oh yeah I, I can make it like this no. okay like this and the colors change you can do this for every other color any color but we will just for the tutorial i hope you understand this i'm not best in making tutorials on anything so yeah uh now we need to save the file now you click here save make sure that the the options are like this don't click the file uh, make sure like this uh, if the texture doesn't have any transparency you click this if the texture has a uh, transparency on it you click this simple simple something i didn't know for a long time <laughs> believe it or not this i'm not gonna show you here how to make a uh, huge graphics textures or anything just you this is just basic how to change vanilla textures or anything to Whatever you like, most people use vanilla textures. Uh, for the huge graphic textures, uh, I think the video is made by uh, Gohan. He, what's his name? I forgot. Nice guy. Um, so yeah, uh, this. Okay, and the texture is saved. Uh, well, if. Uh, you must see the changes right here. Uh, let's increase this extra large. Uh, see changes. Yeah, but in a case you don't see changes, you just refresh and uh, we can exit. Now we have this. Uh, make backup. We are editing bust. Now, if you want to make um, just test uh, the core how the, on the model. Uh, 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 how it looks like, uh, but make a backup. Let's do this. Make a backup. Poof. Now, uh, you might, for example, I'm gonna remove it by clear list. If you did not close the Zeno Viewer, something strange will happen. When you uh, use this, now pack, and it is done. Now, when we edit the uh, bust. Same color. Uh, don't worry. This is if you did not close the Xeno Viewer. Now we close it. Restart the Xeno Viewer. Open the bust file. And there it is. Simple as that. Easy. You can do for the people who don't know how to add the textures. You can do this for use this for any model, any mod, uh, whatever, extract the entire game files, change the textures of anything, and use it as ever you want. This works for vanilla shading. Now, this uh, this is a huge graphics shading, but uh, that's a little bit harder to make, but yeah. I'm not gonna make tutorial of that because that tutorial is already made. Uh, no. Yeah, that's basically it. How you can edit the texture vanilla with vanilla shading um, for yeah, every mod, mod, every model, everything what you need. So I will repeat myself again. You will need few basic stuff. You will need EMB pack. This you can get with uh, mm, uh, what it's called to to I have on here and yeah you can get this with a Xeno viewer and a Xeno XML converter pack two pack but yeah I think you can find this on the universe mods I don't know I didn't find it there uh again service for something else yeah Xeno viewer EMB pack two and uh, paint.net you will need those three you will extract now if you you have packed this now you don't need what uh, decrease the size of your files now we have made the 
textures for the file we don't need this anymore close it you can use Xenoverse character create tool oh my god come on open for god's sake yeah this is a Rito my favorite talk about heroes character that uh, I have no mod of it. Hmm. now let's all open him like this yeah this is black original is by blacks <laughs> who would know yeah uh now change yeah <laughs> char file in the files char file now find it it's ee5 select select folder and you just pack it i will not because i like the original color yeah So yeah, basically that's the tutorial on how to edit textures. As requested by a guy I can't pronounce the name of. Yeah. Bye guys.